Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. Welcome uh, to the Cricket Happening Show as usual. And on this particular Cricket Happening Show, it's only going to be the Indian Premier League 2016 where the Mumbai Indians took on the Sunrise of Hyderabad at the Wankade Stadium in Mumbai. And it was, as you know, it has always been decided. I mean, it was every time it has happened um, that, you know, whoever has chased uh, in Mumbai is always won and today it was Mumbai Indians who were chasing and they won the match by four wickets. They did a good job with the ball uh, to restrict the Sunrisers Hyderabad to 158 for eight and the Mumbai Indians uh, very clinically, uh, I would say they, they clinically, with clinical discipline, uh, they actually went to the target uh, in 18.4 overs and Mumbai Indians won the match. Uh, so just talking about the match here, it all started at the Bankade Stadium in Mumbai uh, with uh, Mumbai Indians actually winning the toss and they knowing the history of this Bankade Stadium pitch in the IPL where Mumbai Indians have always chased and won. Um, uh, they decided, uh, they, have, they have won seven successful chases here in Mumbai at the Bankade Stadium and uh, they decided that they would once again chase and they inserted the Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, to actually <coughs> bat first. It all started off uh, with uh, Shikhar Dhawan and David Warner at the crease, and uh, and uh, and today Harbhajan Singh uh, was into the Indian into the uh, Mumbai Indians team, and he bowled a beautiful spell. In fact, he bowled a very testing spell, I thought. Uh, and also Lasith Malinga and Jaspreet Bumrah were also very good. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan was uh, really tr struggling to get the ball off the square, but uh, he, he he also subdued innings from Shikhar Dhawan. I took some time uh, to really settle down and slowly started opening up. David Warner, on the um, uh, on the other hand, uh, was uh, really getting runs at a very good clip. And this uh, Sunrise of Hyderabad innings was progressing well. We also saw <coughs> Harbhajan Singh really uh, show his um, a slate of hand here as uh, David Warner actually sent him for two boundaries and then uh, he changed his length and the way he bowled was a very good to watch. In fact, uh, bowled eight dot balls uh, at David Warner. So he kept him quiet and that was a good battle, I thought, between Harbhajan Singh and <coughs> David Warner. And finally, uh, when, uh, and as I said, later on, Shikhar Dhawan also opened up and played a few good strokes. Uh, Lasit Malinga was um, also bowling well. Bumra was doing a good job. Uh, McLennan was a bit costly, I could say. Uh, and then finally, the wicket came. The breakthrough, um, I mean, I thought the Sunrisers and Hyderabad openers uh, had put up a decent opening partnership of 81 runs for the first wicket uh, when the first wicket fell and it was done by, the first wicket was taken by Harbhajan Singh. As I said, Harbhajan Singh, uh, after Warner actually put him for a few boundaries, he kept him quiet and in that frustration, uh, in fact, Harbhajan Singh actually gave a double breakthrough, uh, not a double breakthrough, in fact, he picked up a wicket of uh, David Warner first by getting him caught by Parthi Patel behind the wickets, out for 49 of 34 deliveries, seven fours and two sixes. Uh, next to go in the very next over that Harbhajan Singh bowled, uh, he dismissed um, uh, Deepak Huda. Deepak Huda, the big hitter, was caught by Pollard uh, in the deep of na of, for nine of nine balls with one four, which made it 105 for two. And Dhawan, after <coughs> playing an innings where he definitely took his time, uh, he occupied, um, he consumed 43 balls to score 48 runs with 5 fours and 1 6 when he was really tied down by the Mumbai Indians bowlers and then McLennan actually cleaned up his stumps for 48 and that made it 114 for 3 and this was the uh, very, I mean from 81 for 1, uh, one would have expected the Sunrisers Hyderabad to put up a very good total on the board, probably even close to 200 but that was not to be, it was some very fine balling uh, from Jaspreet Bumrah was the man of the match who was really uh, spearing in those yorkers beautifully also those good dippers that he used to bowl and also uh, the other bowlers I mean Malinga I mean Harbhajan Singh did a good job McLennan was also good and uh, we saw that the Sunrise of Hyderabad uh, being on a pedestal at 81 for no loss at the halfway mark uh, they actually uh, were, uh, were kept to 158 for 8 by some tight bowling from the Mumbai Indians bowlers just talking about that, Yuvraj Singh failed to the bat today. Uh, he was gone, uh, bowled by uh, Hardik Pandya for five, seven balls, one, four. Ben Cutting uh, prospered a bit uh, by slashing 20 of just 10 double with four fours, but uh, Bumra actually uh, went on to hit his stumps. He was gone. Uh, Namanoja was a victim of Bumra as well for nine of nine deliveries. 
Mui Shankar was out for the balling and Malinga for one. Rashid Khan caught and bowled by Bumrah for two. Uh, and that was it as far as the, uh, the Sunrisers Hyderabad innings was concerned. So it was not a, a good thing because, uh, I mean, if you look at it, uh, it was just, uh, I mean, from 81 for one, uh, they have actually for 77 runs, they lost uh, their remaining wickets and they could only muster 77. So that really says a lot about how the Mumbai Indians bowlers bowled. Harbhajan Singh, pick of the bowlers, 4 overs, 2 for 23, marvellously well. Uh, Malinga, 4 overs, 1 for 30. Uh, Bumrah was the man of the match. He really speared in those Yorkers and in the death bowling, he was pretty superb. 4 overs, 3 for 24 for him. Uh, Mitchell McLennan, 4 overs, 1 for 42. 3 overs, 22 for uh, Hardik Pandya with one wicket. Krunal Pandya wheeled over his arm uh, for just one over where he gave up a 12 run. So 158 was never a good score against the Mumbai Indians with Mumbai Indians having a good reputation of chasing some good totals uh, of, the, of that sort uh, in the past. As I said, they had seven successful chases in the IPL and uh, so the law of five bridges definitely stood in favor of the Mumbai Indians. Now Mumbai Indians <coughs> were faced with a chase of 159 runs to win uh, from their 20 overs and let's hear the story here as to what happened. Parthi Patel and Joss Butler started uh, and um, in fact Joss Butler uh, and Parthi Patel started off in right inners time I mean they were they were doing a good job with the run, required run rate uh, they were doing well in the power play uh, by getting uh, going at a clip of nine runs per over which was good to see uh, and then finally Ashish Nehra was playing today in the Sunrisers Hyderabad team um, uh, really uh, got a, got the breakthrough as he actually cleaned up Josh Butler's stumps. Josh Butler's uh, tam uh, timber was rattled today by Nehra. He was gone for 14 of 11 balls in the three fours which was 28 for one but Parthiv Patel was in his element today. He was beautifully driving the ball and also um, you know, nicely cutting the ball. He was really playing very well. It was a treat to watch Pathi Patel. His innings was really flowing in beautifully as Rashid and Rohit Sharma came in to join him. And then Rashid Khan, who's always been the trump card now in this um, IPL uh, for the Sunrise of Hyderabad, did a very good turn. He was bowling very well. In fact, he took a very big wicket, that of the Mumbai Indians captain Rohit Sharma, when he actually fooled him with the delivery which was a googly, which Rohit Sharma could not pick up and he was out LBW bowled Rashid Khan for four and Rashid Khan was doing a pretty good job of uh, containing the Mumbai Indians batsman. So that was a big wicket, made it 41 for two uh, and then Pati Patel after playing a real cameo knock of 39 of 24 balls with seven fours uh, fell a victim when Huda actually tempted him into a big hit and Pati Patel obliged and Kumar taking the catch. He was gone for 39 we uh, made it 79 for three at in 9.4 overs and then we had two new batsmen at the crease Nitesh Rana who is the form batsman and the out of form batsman Pollard and I have to say that Pollard continued his poor form in the Indian Premier League 2017 as he could contribute just 11 runs as um, as uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar picked up his wicket of 11 of uh, 11 balls at 1-6 and then Nitesh Rana uh, was really uh, I would say he was uh, nudging his uh, runs very well. He was nudging away beautifully. Uh, I mean, he was not in any hurry. He knew uh, that uh, the score was not a big one. And it was only a matter of just staying there at the center and get some partner who could really uh, give him good company. And that came in the form of Krunal Pandya. So Krunal Pandya came in and allowed Ditesh Rana the luxury uh, of uh, being uh, playing in a very sedate manner. At the other end, Krunal Pandya was slashing boundaries and he was also hitting the big ones as well as Nitesh Rana and Krunal Pandya uh, really helped the Mumbai Indians recover from 111 4 4 in the 14th over and took them very very close to victory with Krunal Pandya uh, one of the ones who was uh, really uh, thrashing the ball at the other end Nitesh Rana uh, was taking his time but also making sure uh, that if any loose stuff was served to him uh, he was not uh, really shy of actually dismissing it uh, over the uh, ropes or you know uh, hitting it uh, all along the ground as Nitesh Rana and Krunal Pandya engaged in a very good partnership uh, which added 39 very good runs and took them close to victory and finally the stand was broken when Bhuvaneshwar Kumar uh, took the wicket of Nitesh Rana for 45 of 36 balls with three fours and two sixes and Nitesh Rana definitely uh, proving to be uh, a very very valuable um, a person in the Mumbai Indians camp because every time he has walked out 
when I've seen that Nidhishrana has contributed for the Mumbai Indians and that is pretty good to see. Um, Krunal Pandya stayed there, uh, his brother came out but Krunal Pandya was the one um, and in fact after Krunal Pandya was the first to go when the score reached 149 for 5 in the 18th over it was Krunal Pandya's wicket which was taken because he was the danger man and Kumar dismissed him for 37 of 20 balls, 3 fours and 3 sixes but Nitesh Rana was still there but in the same over it was uh, Nitesh Rana also losing his stumps to Kumar for 45 but both doing a good job uh, of uh, really playing uh, in a very sensible manner as they knew that this victory was there for the taking and finally it was all over with Hardik Pandya not out on two, Harbhajan Singh not out on three and 159 for six it was Mumbai Indians the winners by four wickets and the man of the match going to Jaspreet Bumbra for really really bowling uh, those very very tight death overs against the Sunrisers Hyderabad batsmen to really keep them on a real tight leash. Uh, as far as the bowling is concerned, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, 4 overs no maiden, 3 for 21, uh, bowled uh, magnificently I thought. Ashish Nera was a bit costly today, 4 overs costing him 46 runs and 1 wicket. Rashid Khan, the pick of the bowlers today, what a spell from Rashid Khan, 4 overs no maiden and he picked up the prize wicket of Rohit Sharma, 1 for 19, beating him with the googly. Uh, Mustafizu Rahman who played today uh, was some, somewhat of a real disappointment I thought. Because one was probably the reason Mosibir Rahman was playing, one thought the, the Mumbai Indians, sorry, the Sunrise Hyderabad team was really strengthened. But it was very sad to see that Mosibir Rahman today uh, actually sprayed the ball in all directions and uh, he, he was very costly. 2.4 overs, no maiden, none for 34, not good balling at all. Deepak Huda went for 18 of his 2 with 1 wicket and Ben Cutting bowled 2 overs, which cost him 18 runs. Just played Bumrah was the man of the match. And tomorrow, uh, the next match that is coming up in the uh, Indian Premier League uh, is the match between uh, Kolkata Knight Riders and the Kings Eleven Punjab. <coughs> and that should be a really, really a very good match which is coming up. But we all know that um, you know Kings Eleven Punjab have been doing very well uh, in this IPL so far. They've won all the two matches. And KKR definitely, I think, if Chris Lynn is not playing, they are definitely a bit crippled. Uh, but uh, nevertheless... Uh, you know, uh, uh, I think it should be a close match because Kings and Punjab are also doing very well and I wouldn't say uh, that KKR are favourites. Uh, there is still uh, a lot to lot in between them and I think we should have a very good game of cricket which is coming up. So, as I said, it was a, a short cricket broadcast today. Hope you all uh, love this cricket broadcast of mine with more to come tomorrow uh, with, between the Kings and Punjab and the Kolkata Knight Riders match which is coming up tomorrow. Um, um, uh, until then... It's good night.